Good afternoon. Today we are going to start demo in this bathroom. So uh, I've already replaced this toilet because the previous one was leaking. And instead of spending money on fixing the toilet, we're gonna replace anyway. I just, we got the toilet that we were gonna put in and we temporarily installed it. So now I'm gonna take this toilet back out. We're gonna take the vanity out and start scraping up the linoleum on the concrete. I just replaced the shower curtain, so this is going to stay. The toilet is going to be taken out and then put back in. The vanity is going bye bye. We picked out some paint colors. This is where the expo mall is going to be. And then the rest will be painted the other color. And then the ceiling needs white paint. We're also going to replace the fixtures in the tub. We haven't got those yet, but we'll make look at the ones that match the hardware that we already have. And then we'll, I also want to replace those lights because they're terrible. <laughs> Did you flush it to empty out the tank? Yes. So, obviously it doesn't empty completely. <laughs> so now I'll get a, one of those big sponges and empty out the tank into, into a bucket. Um, and then I can take the toilet off the ground. This mirror is coming down too, right? Mm -hmm. In fact, that has to come out before the sink comes out because it's, it's attached to, down there. Just gotta get this wax off the bottom of the toilet. So I'm gonna put some gloves on and get some paper towels. There's too many mirrors in here. I keep getting in the reflections. Are we changing out that medicine cabinet or sleeping it? I think the medicine cabinet can stay, but we should check the edges of the mirror to make sure that none of it is chipped. Yeah, that one's fine. There's no chips on that one. Okay. I actually kind of want you to hold this. You want me to steady it here? Yeah, just like that. It's moving. Okay. It's okay. I'm holding it. Okay. It'd be better to not crack a brand new toilet. I agree. I'll put a paper towel under it so that the wax that remains after I took the, the wax ring off doesn't get all over the floor. And then it'll just sit there until we put it back in. So the plan with the new toilet was always to use the wax ring that came with it temporarily with, while we still had the linoleum down. And my plan is to get a extra large wax ring uh, because when we put the tile in here, it'll be, the floor will be higher and the sewer 
connection will be slightly recessed. So we'll get one of the extra large wax rings that will help seal, make sure we have a good seal between the bottom of the toilet and the sewer. I'm gonna put this wad of paper towel in here to prevent anything from falling down the sewer while we're doing demo on the floor. I am so excited for this to be gone. The new one is so much nicer. Next is... Mirror? Mirror. Or lights? Mirror. I wanna leave the lights in so I can use them. I think I'm probably, this is probably gonna break when I take it. It is. I'm gonna stay on this side so that it doesn't hit me. to release. You hear it? at all. Just a little bit of adhesive thrown up on the wall. Just sand it down, patch it up with um, some spackle and uh, texture it and paint over it. Everything will be really nice. Okay, I'm gonna guess. You take the piece off on the right. This piece. First. Yep. And then you can do the back. So you get, I gotta take this piece off. I gotta shut the water off to the faucets, drain them. Uh, disconnect the water supply on the underneath. Disconnect the drain. Unscrew the cabinet from the wall. And then it should just pull out. Cool. You can hear it. I don't hear what you're hearing. What are you hearing? Peeling away from the wall. I heard it that time. This is bathroom three. I'm gonna let you know when the water is off and I need you to turn the faucets on to make sure that the water is off. Sounds good. I did. Just a little bit of water came out. Yep. Cool. Now what? Now, I can disconnect the water supply from the faucets up here, disconnect the drain, and then unscrew the cabinet from the wall and then pull it out. Sounds simple. cutting tool. It's got a blade in there. 
problem is this this pex line is too small. Ah. So. Can you use a blade like that one? Probably. Yep. I guess it worked. <laughs> with water. Oh. <laughs> you want some of this? No. <laughs> You're trying to make me throw up. The sink itself is in the way of getting the um, the screw out. Oh. So I think I'm just going to try and cut the caulking around the sink and then um, that's probably all it's holding in is, is some caulk sealant. Okay, it's recording. Cool. Whatever. Come on in here. So now that I got the sink out, I can easily remove the, the two screws holding the cabinet face to the wall. And now this should. It looks like they might have, yeah. They put some caulking down at the bottom, so I'll just cut through that. Think it's now usable again. <laughs> Next step is getting the this other baseboard pieces off and getting this linoleum out.
see how the scraper works. stuff out of here. Give me that blue scraper behind you. Thanks. stuff is it's glue it's stuck to the concrete the best way to get this off is probably to sand it so I'll get a little I'll spend a little more time trying to get the, the paper backing off the floor and then I'm gonna switch to a sander 